Also wir sollen ein bisschen enger ran. Ja? <lacht> Können Sie die Kleine mal die Hand geben oder so? Ja? Hm? Wie heißt sie denn? Ninette. Ninette. Wie alt bist du denn? Zu uns. Du machst mal die Schultern ein bisschen. Dann machen wir noch dich daran. Ruhig dich daran an die Uh, I wanted to can answer a few questions. Um, could you tell me, uh, how many... Ich meine, im Moment ist nicht mehr so viel, oder? Wie ist es? Im Moment ist keiner. Hallo. Ja, <lacht> also eigentlich Besuchergeld kriegst du nicht und Begrüßungsgeld äh, <lacht> müsste ich denn aus eigener Tasche bezahlen. Ja. Also wenn man jemand hier auf die Kasse aufmacht, dann machen wir das mal, denn haben Sie... Right. So we do that first and then we do the other colleague. Then, then we do the yeah, other right. <coughs> Tell me how many Begrüßungsgeld points there are now open in West Berlin, you know? Today? Yeah. I don't know how many there are. Uh, how many Begrüßungsgeld points? Oh, probably about 300, over 300. Must be, well, 350 or so. About that, I think. Yeah. It's about that number. Could you tell me, do you think this situation of lots of people coming every weekend will continue? I know, it's quite, it became quite obvious this uh, weekend that the number is going down a little bit, that there's a little bit of normalization in the city, and uh, we, are, we are happy with that. You see, the, to have one million visitors in a city of two million uh, is quite a lot. But yesterday we were down to 800,000 about that, and they concentrated in the inner parts of the city. It was just like the people from the area around coming in buying things. Not so very much the East Berliners, they come over the week, but not at the weekends, mainly people from the southern and the northern parts of GDR. Uh, do, you have any, do you have any idea if the East Germans are going to manage to stabilize their currency? Um, you see, the, the exchange rate they have here in West Berlin just is a reflection of the market in West Berlin, but nothing else. So it says nothing. You cannot say if, if the pound sterling would go down like this, I mean, the, the banks would be, uh, would be an alarm. But it's not like that. It just means that a lot of uh, GDR currency is here in West Berlin and that few people only want to buy it, so it's going down. But. Um, the real situation in GDR is compared with our currency, it's one to five, one mark to four mark or five mark about that. Um, of course, it is, a, it is a currency problem that GDR has with the open border. Everybody could travel, everybody could bring the money in. And uh, we will have talks to the, with them about this problem, how, uh, how one can avoid uh, uh, effects on their currency and, well, on our, our economy as well. But our economy is strong enough to bear it, but their economy probably is not strong enough. If people would buy here a lot of uh, East German currency and would go into GDR and buy everything, what is interesting for us, uh, that could be very difficult for them. Right. Um, do you know roughly the numbers of people who have now decided to stay in West Berlin who are coming over and then staying? Yeah, I know that number, not only roughly, but very exactly. Right. You see the number since November 9th is 8,000. And that means with two and a half million visitors, it's just nothing. It's the normal number of influx any big city has coming in and coming out. 8,000 is not a number at all. Okay, last question. Do you know when the Brandenburg Gate <laughs> may be open? <laughs> no, but they will let me know when they will open it. <laughs> they will let you know. Okay, thank right. you very much. Yes, fine.